man. By Sunday, they're gonna be erecting more Thorpe statues all over the neighborhood. What, were you about to rob a bank and get away with it or something? I know you're not an ignorant man, so I feel the need to let you know that this is the weekend that I, Morris Thorpe, will bring ecstasy to the Gilliam triplets. <laughs> uh, they're not triplets, Thorpe. They're only sisters. Oh. A mere technicality. <laughs> if I keep this ball spinning as long as Happy Hairston, someone's gonna owe me the key to their car this weekend. Yeah, and if you don't, what do I get? Oh, we let you live. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Please. Hey, go, go. What happened? Did you give up the dry look? Please. Man, now that uh, my field goal percentage is up near 55%, Lupe's decided she's definitely in love with me. <laughs> Say, hey, what, uh, what are you doing this weekend? Well, I think I'm just gonna stay in the sunshine, you know, just gonna kick back and let him come to me. Oh, here, I guess you're gonna be alone all weekend, then. Well, I'll get an idea of how you spend your life then, won't I? <laughs> Not true. I have a date this weekend. Mm. With what? Something, no doubt, from the animal shelter. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi Price happens to be a very nice girl. We have a lot in common. Yeah, virginity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd rather make out with a hot curl and iron. Uh, I think you guys are forgetting that Naomi spelled backwards is I moan. She doesn't moan, she... <laughs> I'm telling you, ever since we went 10 straight, I can't keep the women away from me. They get a bit testy when I told them no autograph. Jackson, the reason you're not signing any autographs is because nobody wants to stand around while you print. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Salami, what you got going this weekend? Gonna show Nick of the town. Where you going, Little Italy? No, Watts Towers. Hey, Sean, you keep going now. Hey. Hey, what's all the racket in here? Coach, things pick up for you since we started winning? We don't see you hanging around with that rag anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'm letting that one go by. The real reason I popped in here is because I need a favor from you guys this weekend. Uh, uh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it right there. I never liked anarchy. Well, if you don't like her, you're going to hate Naomi Price. <laughs> hey, that's enough. What'd she ever do to you? That overbite. <laughs> now, look. I've agreed to help raise money for the United Way. Now, you gonna do a commercial for United Way? Hey, if you're gonna do commercials, go beer. That's where the money's at. <laughs> I was wondering if you guys would mind spending Saturday afternoon washing cars to raise money. Perdóname, señor. No hablo inglés. Uh, Gomez, go, go. No trabajas. Uh, run laps. Mucho laps. Comprende? <laughs> Hey, uh, listen, Coach, we really love to help you out. Uh, let us have a private team meeting. We talk about it, and we get back to you. OK. You sure? Sure. Right. Good. OK. Go ahead. Not a prayer. Pasadena. Hey, guys, charity begins at home. Is that what Jewish guilt means? All right, now let's not waste any time. It's Friday afternoon. Let's vote. All those in favor, say aye. All those opposed, say no. No, no, no. 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 Hey, coach, pass. I'm very disappointed in you. We're counting on you to get over it, coach. Maybe you don't understand. I think it's important for you guys to give a little of yourself to other people. That's what's on tap for tonight. Yeah, so why don't you get into it by starting with Salami's car? It's a good idea, Coach. You know any good car washes? Matter of fact, I do. From the look of this car, when I turn the vacuum on, there's a good chance I'm going to suck up the floorboards. Yeah, you hurt this car, and you'll be missing a lot more than just half, pal. Like this style. <laughs> and careful, this is vintage 63 colors. See the size of cue balls, assistant? It's an absolute necessity for the job. 
and get the hose really deep in the back seat. How do you put the roof up on this car? Hey, don't try to pull a fast one on me. I'm paying for a full wash inside and out. You want the jet spray wax, too? Yeah, nothing's too good for us. We're number one. You know, it's a rare opportunity when our teammates, Coolidge and Hayward, Reese, Jackson, and Thorpe can see their futures before them. I think Goldstein has to die. See, what we gotta do is we gotta clean up this boy's mental attitude. <laughs> oh, come on. Reese, come on. for a living, am I? What do you do for a living? Oh, well, I happen to be a basketball star, you see, and I do a little lot of high school on the side. Strictly second team. I'm the star carver. Please, more stuff, the backbone of the Carver High basketball machine. <sighs> Say, man, how come you guys washing cars? Because they're dirty. Yeah, well, you know, you could be doing something else. What's wrong with washing cars, boy? <laughs> well, you know, it's manual labor, brother. Man should never be ashamed of an honest day's work. We all do the best we can. Hey, look, if you guys are looking for bigger tips with these speeches, we didn't just get off the bus. Hey, you missed a spot. Hey, that's not a spot, that's a hole. Pretty strong soap you're using. Thanks, blood. Here's another tip for you. Soybean futures. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, don't ruin the shot. Watch out, sis. Say, man, these seats are still wet. Well, I laugh a little heartbreak, isn't it? Hey, crowd. 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 did an honest day's work. You know, you're not alone in all this. Some of the Rams are working at a car wash down near the Coliseum. A few of the Lakers doing the same thing over in Englewood, so we ought to make a lot of money this weekend. Yeah, we'd like to grab some footage for the evening news of the Globetrotters working the charity car wash. 
Ah, no problem. It'd be good publicity for the charity. Well, just run the car through. We'll catch the team in action. Why don't you do mine? It can really use it. Now, Curly, I'll go 50-50 with you on any loose change you find. Forget it. Okay. Anything I can do to help? Yeah, grab a rag, brother. I bet this is the first time you spent $25 to wash your own car. You know, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a globetrotter. You think there's still a chance? When the call goes out for a slow white forward, you're at the top of our list. It always looked like so much fun. You know, not living on a diet of harried coaches and per-game averages, rabid out-of-town crowds. Saves the digestive tract. Every game is a homer for us. You know, even after I reached the pros, I used to come down and watch you guys play in the first half of the doubleheaders. It was always good for a laugh. We've seen you play ball, Kenny. You gave us a lot of laughs, too. Is the Harlem Globetrotters watch the cars here? That's right, Sonny. You know where I can get an autograph? Why don't you sign it? Well, me, uh, I don't think I have the strength. He ain't a Globetrotter. Oh, yeah? How do you know? Because you're white. That's only because he's been watching cars all day. He's been bleached. Here, I'll sign it. You ain't a Globetrotter either. This kid is hard to please. And I'm black enough for you? You're black, but you're too old. Yeah, man. I had to sign a kid up for my team. He fit right in. Is coaching ghetto ball getting to you, Kenny? Yeah, well, it was rough last year when we were losing regularly. Losing? What's that? You know, I think we lost more games last year than you guys have in the last 30. Well, hopefully you're doing better this year. Yeah, well, at least this year we're winning, but nobody's going to confuse Carver High with UCLA. Carver High? Yeah, that's where I coach. 63 cut this Carver? Another beautiful day in Southern California. There's a real contradiction. Hey, cut it out, Nikki. This mentally depressing attitude of yours has got to stop. I mean, you're starting to bum the guys out. This is where you live now. Forget it. This is where you live. An egg cream and stickball man like me don't belong in a land of volleyball and carrot juice. I'm just passing through. Well, keep your head up in the sun. It's starting to look like your liver's gone bad. If LA were any more laid back, it'd be unconscious. Do <laughs> <laughs> you like you whining again? Hey, let go of the anti-LA vibe, man. This isn't such a bad place to live. I'd rather be living in a subway station. At least I can breathe the air. This brown stuff can kill you. Yeah, and so could this fist if you don't shut up. It's like living in a world filled with Ken and Bobby clones. Present company excluded, of course. But if I hear one more person tell me, have a nice day, I'm gonna puke. I had enough. Oh, man. But you <laughs> shot me in the back seat. Finally, peace and quiet. <laughs> you know, Nick, it could be a lot worse. Yeah, I could have grown up here. Uh, you're missing the point, New York. Instead of hanging out here all day, you could be working, slaving away like them cats back there at the car wash. You know, you wouldn't catch me bending my back like that. You might not have to. The way we've been playing lately, we might just join the NBA as a new franchise. There right. sure ain't no high school competition that can touch us. Hey, hey, look at that. Man, I'd sure like to see them play. Hey, the Globe Trail is even Whoa. big in New York, right, Nick? <laughs> right. <laughs> Only thing is, tickets cost money. Maybe if we tell them who we are, they let us in for free. <laughs> yeah, they might even ask us to stand up and take a bow. Ladies and gentlemen, seated in section A15 and currently riding a 10-game winning streak, the Carver High School basketball team. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I got a better idea. What if we get the coach to get us some? He could swing it if he wanted to. Yeah, well, he may not want to. Yeah, man, you know, he wasn't exactly overjoyed about us not doing his charity work. It's all in the approach. Say it, don't spray it, Thorpe. What are you talking about, Goldstein? You spit on me, Thorpe. Goldstein, when I spit on you, it'll be intentional. Hey, watch it, Thorpe, man. You did it again. You're crazy. 
Yeah, I just felt it too. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lama, you gotta get your top fixed. Yeah. All right. Finally, my prayers are answered. Real weather. And you told me it never rained in California. You think it's gonna hurt the real boss? That's one All sick right. guy. Once a year it rains in LA, and it's gotta be the day after I wash my car. First you dine, then you dash. You can't do that. We're talking about the dine and dash car. Don't leave home without it. That's six years old, grabbing a pack of gum off the shelf. Man, we're talking about hamburgers. Relax, will you? I'm relaxed. I'm not going to the big house for robbery. What are you bucking for, Eagle Scout? Hey, I'm just trying to tell you the facts as I see them. Well, keep your eyes closed and your mouth shut. That's, uh, six hamburgers. Let be all, sir? Yeah, thanks. What would you like, boys? Just coffee for me. I'd like a piece of banana cream pie. but I think that pie smells bad. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's funny. That's disgusting. I think I picked up the wrong chick. So much for the diamond dash card. What are you doing? Browse. We do not browse with display models on our feet. What do you think about the yellow? I don't know why. Uh, I think maybe if we paint a little purple on there, it might be all right. And under no circumstances do we ever allow customers to try on sneakers barefooted. Hey, mister, does this stink or what? Somebody sues you for everything you're worth. Out! One good pair of sneakers and the guy would have had free advertising by one of Carver's starting five. Stupid fool didn't know a good deal when he saw one. I do. Threw me out with the display models on. <laughs> well, I sort of promised Darlene that I would see her after the game. What about tomorrow night? Well, I don't like to plan that far in advance. Why don't you uh, talk to me in the morning? Hey, Adam, what are you doing here? I hate junior high. Hey, 
Hey, Miss Buchanan, you looking good today, Mama. No, no, no. Uh, for the sake of the future generations of the Thorpe family, I'll pretend I didn't hear that, Morris. Yeah, Thorpe, you should never say hey. Don't you want to die young? The bell is going to ring in less than a minute, so get to it. In a minute, Sybil. In a minute, Sybil? And who do you think you are? We're number one. Don't you read the sports pages of the Carver Gazette? You better get to class right now before I put you all on report. Hey, listen, Sybil, I mean, don't you think that after all we've done for the, the honor and the glory of Carver High in the past six weeks, we deserve a little extra consideration? You know, Morris, you have a point. And I think that little extra consideration should start with you. I mean, especially since you've been having such a good season. <laughs> I want you in my office, and I mean right now. The rest of you get to class. Enter. I hope that look on your face is from indigestion, not anything I've done. I've put Morris Thorpe on report. Now, I would have put the whole team on report, but I'm hoping an example will suffice. What have they done this time? No, it's not a this time. It's all the time. Now, they walk around the school like they own the place. They are crude, they defy authority, and they strut down the halls like, like the world should get out of their way. I know. And if you don't do something about it, I will. All right, I'll try and think of something. No, no, don't try. Do it. What's all this? Hey, hey, check it out. Me and Cool been practicing. Watch. You ready? Hey! Oh. Hey, good. Very good. Oh, you make us nervous. I'm gonna make you a lot more than that. You guys have a tough enough time handling fundamentals. I trust uh, everyone had a pleasant weekend. Everybody slept well, knowing that you've all become so important by now that you no longer have to take time to help out the community. Well, trust me, I'm not gonna forget. Oh, there go the Globe Charter tickets. Now, before we get down to work, I want to talk with you guys about something. I've been getting reports that I don't like. Just because you guys are on a winning streak right now, you all think you're hot stuff. Winning streaks end. They don't go on forever. This one just might. Take my word for it, Coolidge. They don't. Hey, man, ain't you forgetting the 10 straight put together by the car of a 12? No, I haven't forgotten that, Jackson. I also haven't forgotten that we got a game tomorrow. We got more holes in our defense than the Watergate tapes. Game? You call playing Pimlico a game? <laughs> yeah. We can't take a school seriously named after a racetrack. And this horse is real lame. Yeah, they're ready for the blue factory. One in 13, coach. That's a pit. Yeah, maybe we should shoot him. Put him out of their misery. Yeah. What do you want us to do? I mean, coach, they're dead last. Well, dead last, huh? Does that have uh, sort of a familiar ring for anybody? And why should it? Why should it, Thorpe? Because that's exactly the spot where you guys were parked for most of last year. Now, we surprised a couple of teams who were right on top. This team could do the same thing to us tomorrow. Oh, come on. That's not the same thing. Because none of those teams had what we got. Superstars up and down the line. Ain't no team nowhere gonna beat us, no how. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, there's a difference between winning and being winners. They're two different, separate things. Winners have something that you guys haven't shown lately. And what's that? A little class, Reese. A little class. All right. I want two lanes for a passing drill. Let's go. Uh, coach. Me and the guys were wondering. Uh, since you got so much pull and all, and since uh, 
we ain't got no money being as uh, underprivileged as we are that maybe you could swing some freebies for the Globetrotters at the Dome. You guys want free tickets? Yeah. You know, you guys got a lot of gall. I got some news for you, Thorpe. I had those tickets for you. Yeah, I was gonna surprise you after you helped me out of the car wash. But there was no show, so there's no tickets. Hey, wait a minute, man. What do you mean? What you gonna do with them? I'm uh, gonna give them to whoever I can find. You mean you'd rather take somebody else to see the Globe Trotters besides us? Ah, come on, coach. You ain't got 12 friends. Give us the tickets. Right now, I'd rather take the girls' basketball team than you guys. Me too. Hey, coach, don't let that get out. They may take you up on it. I want two lanes passing drill. Let's go. Jeez, this is the only place in school where emphysema comes with the room. I might as well be outside. Hey, come on, you guys. You may find this hard to believe, but I actually have to go to the bathroom. Got to use a coal miner's hat just to find the mirror. I got to fix my contact lens. Would I steal this? Hey, come on, nature's calling. No answer. I ate a lot of garlic last night, and it's starting to back up on me. Come on. What are you doing? You see, it's a very simple procedure. You just rinse it off and pop it back in. I don't know, man. Can't be healthy putting glass in your eye. <laughs> Look who's here. Two more Reeves as much you can. The Snow White let all the dwarfs out to play today. Who is this guy? Rocky Broder. No doubt, headed for valedictorian. <laughs> woo, woo, please, somebody open a window. My eyes are getting watery in here. It's soft, man. It's only tar and nicotine in here. In New York, they nail the window shut. Watch the eye. Stop, hold it right now. Stay back. I lost my contact lens. You gotta help me find it. I can't be. I think I found it. Oh, my heart. <laughs> think that's funny, huh, stupid? Yeah. Get it, You're right, it ain't worth the effort. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna hit you and you gonna fall on the floor. Hey, man, you don't wanna get in no trouble. I mean, fighting ain't gonna solve nothing. It'll make me feel better to teach this jerk here a lesson. Hey, what's going on here, man? Go ahead, pal, make the move. Come on. Hey, Salam, enough with the dialogue. Ready? Put this guy away so we can get out of here, huh? Hey! Oh, God, get him! Get him! Get him! word before. What is that? They use that word out here. What are you, some kind of barbarian? <sighs> Try to tell you, man. Not a game of keep away. 
Just get out there, enjoy yourselves, have a good time, and don't run the score up, all right? Okay, let's go. All right, come on. All right, let's go. coaching come across a more disgusting display of bad sportsmanship than I did out there today. Nate, first, thanks again for helping out at the car wash. And second, thanks for the cops. You guys put on another great show. Yeah. Uh, look, I know this may sound crazy, I was wondering if you guys would help me teach my Carver players a lesson. Well, I was thinking maybe a little scrimmage between the Shine Bright Car Wash staff and my team tomorrow afternoon. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, great. See you then. They can't wait. Nate says after the way those kids treated them at the car wash, they figured they owe them one, so we're all set for tomorrow. I don't know, Ken. Do you think this is really fair? My ears must be clogged. I didn't really hear that, did I? Well, I have a feeling this kind of public humiliation may be detrimental to the best interests of Carver. Relax, will you, Sybil? We'll raise money for the student organization, besides giving great satisfaction to a lot of people who suffered enough abuse at the hands of my team. OK? You trust me? I promise you it'll be a very educational experience, believe me. You're going to be there, aren't you? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Now, wasn't that a wonderful choice of color and style? Now, for the final selection in our line of winter apparel, the model, Warren Coolidge. The clothes, the piece de resistance from his own original inner city fashions. Warren, if you please. Tired for any sporting event. Just the right new look for the coach and the go. Don't you agree? Salami. 
Uh, Coolidge, that's a nice clown suit. I didn't know the circus was in town. A uh, clown suit? Coach, this happens to be the new addition to our winning image. Yeah, since we're playing good, we might as well start looking good. Hey, how about some new warm-up? With some nicknames on the back. You know, CJ, Cool, Dopey, Sneezy. Hey, we at least deserve game programs with uh, action-packed photos of the unbeatable Carver squad rolling into another victory. No problem, Ned Thorpe. I'll just go down to the local police station and pick up a set of mug shots. Now, Coach, don't be so hostile. Now, it's obvious by now that uh, I have lost control of you animals. That is, for the time being. You ran up the score against Pimlico against my direct orders. So since I can't teach any basketball basics to you know-it-alls, I'm going to have to resort to discipline. Today's practice will be 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, 50 laps Why? right now. Yeah, I can't do none of that stuff. Why not, Coolidge? Hey, because if I do that, I'll perspire. And if I perspire, I'll mess up my new uniform. Don't worry about it, Coolidge. Perspiring is for little girls in private school. What you're here to do is sweat. Right now, hit the floor, let's go. <laughs> This is the first time I've ever been punished for winning. Yeah, coach. We haven't forgotten about defeat. Glad to hear that, Gomez. Can you get us some new sneakers? That's 75 sit-ups for you. Hey, coach, in case it slipped your mind, we are the ones that made you what you are today. What, if I may ask, is that thought? Hottest coach in high school basketball. <laughs> if looks could kill for they'd be measuring you for a black suit. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but it'll be a true pleasure to see you guys lose again. Yeah, well, forget it, coach. There isn't a team in L.A. who can't blow off the court. Contrary to public opinion, you're not that good. Oh, no? I could bring in a team of old men off the street that can take you guys to the cleaners. Uh, name the place and the time, coach. We'll be there. Tomorrow afternoon, here, be in uniform, 4 o'clock. Hey, hey, look what we have here, refugees from the car wash. Ready for a lesson in round ball, fellas? Yeah, are you guys sure you can handle this? Uh, somebody better make sure there's some oxygen courtside. And an ambulance. Let me give you a break, blood. My first shot's going to be a fallaway jumper, and you know where it's going to end up. In your face. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm very sick of patients. I'm getting the hell out of here. What happened? Who turned out the lights? After the beating y'all took, you can get your own towels from now on. We're number one, huh? You girls had enough yet? I don't care what you say, Coach. I'm not going out there again. Oh, what's the matter, Warren? You frightened by a group of old car washers? Oh, those guys are more than just car washers, Coach. The best basketball team I've ever seen. Yeah, they sure made you guys look bad. Guess after what we did to Pimlico, we sort of had it coming, huh? You know, there's an old saying, you can't judge a book by its cover. And that, animals, is the lesson for today. We're a good team that's gone astray. If we start to show a little humility and a lot less arrogance, I think we can go a long way this year. We're all on the same team in the game of life. End of sermon. Hey, who were those guys anyway, coach? Why don't you go out there for the second half and find out? If you're brave enough. It's only confetti. Oh, that bright kid again. Yeah. <laughs> 